Trudine, if you're new, welcome. So today I have a special guest with me. I have Merit. And today we're gonna actually continue the Dating in China series. So in previous videos, I've actually spoken about my experience and I've actually taken you guys in the streets in Shenzhen, that's before I lived in Guangzhou. Um, and we actually spoke to some Chinese men, I'm Chinese women, so we spoke to some locals and we asked them, you know, what were their perspective um, dating a foreigner in China, if they would or they wouldn't. Now, we're gonna switch it up today and we're gonna talk to a white girl. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> we're gonna talk to a white girl to see if she has the right? Like if her experiences were the same as mine. <laughs> discussion. So if you guys are interested in this video, just stick around. Adventure with me, let's go. And then you came to China. Yeah, oh, 2000, okay. middle of 2015. So yeah. I was actually like, doing the math this morning. <laughs> I've been here like the same amount of time I've been in Korea. Yeah. Like I was in Korea. Yeah. But it feels like shorter in China. Like life is so fast here. Mm. Yeah. I can only speak to um, Chinese China as my Asian experience because yeah. it's the only country <laughs> that I've resided outside of Jamaica. Okay, so before we talk about dating in China, what was dating in uh, Korea like? I didn't really, like, I didn't date there, really. like, yeah. I don't know, like, I had, like, a boyfriend in the States before, but I was, like, so young, because I went to Korea when I was, like, 22. Yeah. And then when I went to Korea, like, I didn't even know what a dating app was. Like, I never used a dating app until I came to China. So in Korea, yeah. my second year there, I started dating a guy from Philly, okay. a black American man from Philly, and then yeah. I dated him for seven years. Mm -hmm. I mean, the whole time I was there. Yeah. Until China, and then we broke up once I came here. Yeah. So I didn't really, he was like probably the only person I really dated there. Okay, okay. so I guess yeah. you never really had a dating life. Yeah, I mean like there's like guys and around and stuff and like, yeah. you know, you hook up with people. <laughs> but that's like, I don't consider that like dating. Right. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I wasn't like trying to like, I don't go out like looking, like actively looking for dates normally, you know. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. But then when you came to China, like you started dating. Yeah, so I was like, what's this Tinder app? So what I <laughs> Tinder is the worst in China. I just like, I like got out and I was like, mm -hmm. I was excited because I was like mm -hmm. freshly single. Mm -hmm. I had like a boyfriend, you know, and I'm at with like, so, and I was like, okay. So single and ready to Yeah, I was like, this is fun. <laughs> and I love to meet people anyway. So like, even if it like doesn't work out or something. Yeah. Like I, I made a lot of friends actually on Tinder as well. Mm -hmm. And I still have an active. Like, like I have a friend that I met in like Hong Kong. And like we just like met up and we're like had a good time like never hook up or anything like that. Yeah. He's like married now, but like yeah, we still chat. It's cool. Awesome. Like so a lot of like friendships mm -hmm. and then like a lot of like crazy stories, you know. But um, yeah, Tinder is wild. And, like personally, so in my my personal video when I spoke about my experience, right? I think Tinder is absolute trash here in China. Trash in China, and I think like before you go on a date with anyone, you need to ask your friend, Have you been on a date with this guy? Because I okay. feel like it's a recycled thing. I feel like everyone yes. goes out with each other. Yes, like I don't know your demographic, <laughs> but my demographic, my friends don't particularly 
date, that demographic. Oh, so okay, like you know what I'm saying. So yeah. for me, it was like no one really knew the people mm -hmm. I was like going on dates with or whatever. Okay. Maybe they'd seen them or something, but okay. like not really because. Yeah, so I, I was like a little bit luckier in that aspect. Okay, so but, you're a demographic <laughs> is black men, right? <laughs> like, I don't know, like, I just like, if they like seem fun on it, but I've never, yeah, right, I've never actually dated anybody here. Yeah, for sure, I have. So, okay. <laughs> like, it's just like, yeah, so you're on Tinder and you're like, okay, that guy's cool, like, okay, maybe just like be friends with him or something, you know? But you have to have a lot of questions, like, mm -hmm. I don't know if you ask these guys questions, but I'm so blunt. I'm like, okay, I know the way mm -hmm. some men are in China. Like, some men come here for business and they mm -hmm. have like families back in the US. Mm -hmm. It's like a business thing. They come yeah. to Shenzhen, that's where I used to live, same as you. Yeah. So it's like, they just come and go. Mm -hmm. So they probably have family, who knows, children. So like, you think it's more like for a fling? Yes, like yes. So you have to like, something serious? Yeah, and like, I didn't even know what I was doing on Tinder. I was like, I just kind of want to meet people and see where it goes. Like, I'm not like planning like, I'm going to get on Tinder and find a husband. I was going on Tinder to find a husband. But, I, <laughs> but, but yeah, but like, I was going on Tinder to like, find a companionship because right. I was like, oh, like after like, two years of, you know, being wild and crazy or whatever, I was mm -hmm. like, okay, let me just settle that. Yeah. So, yeah, so then I did. But, especially you said it's trash. Especially since COVID, because there's no new people coming think, in and out. I think that was my biggest issue because when I started yes. using Tinder in China, yeah, it was during COVID period. Yes. so a lot of yes. the partners would have already left yes. during that time, and the few that were here were recycling. Yeah, so no, maybe yeah. that was my my biggest issue. Yeah. but that's all I knew like, at the time. What's your demographic though? <laughs> in all honesty, Anything? in all honesty. It's about how we vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For me, right. it's not about race. So yeah. I would date Chinese, I would date yeah. black, I would date white, but I yeah. don't want to date black. <laughs> yeah, 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 right. But, yeah, yeah, but, but yeah, for me, definitely, there is no race attached. It's just really yeah. I'm very open minded. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, I'm very open minded. So if I see a white guy and yeah. he's attractive yeah. and we vibe, then yeah, yeah. I'll date him. Same thing with the Chinese guy too, yeah. and the black guy. Yeah. Yeah. For me, it's just all about. Right. Okay, most of my friends here, they're black. Right? Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. So maybe that's why, and it was COVID time. Yeah. So maybe that's why I had that huge issue. No, like of having that recycle. You're not the, Yeah, you're not the only one. Like it was just so happened I met my current boyfriend. Yeah. That I've, we've been dating like you know like almost two years now, right? Mm -hmm. So I had met him like right after my quarantine. Mm -hmm. So I'm lucky. It's, Oh, F. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'm lucky as hell. I just went, Yeah, because like, because like, I met him, and then like, my other friends were like, I hate Tinder now. And like, so like. You met him on Tinder? Yeah, I did. Oh. I actually met him on Tinder. Yeah. yeah that's so, awesome. yeah. So I was like, oh my gosh, yeah. And then I met like, cool dude, you know? Because like, I'm like, had a lot of dates where I like literally like ghosted them. Mm -hmm. I'm going to the bathroom, bye, and I came back and blocked you. You did that? Like three times. Oh times. my, God. I want to hear that. Guys, we want to hear that story, <laughs> right? Oh my gosh, because I got ghosted on Tinder. What? I, girl. I got ghosted. Who I got ghosted. Who I, you? I got oh ghosted. But we want to hear Mary's ghost story. Okay, because so, you guys heard mine already. So, so there's yeah. like quite a few, but like the most basic oh, one. savage. <laughs> like, what was the other app? Not Tinder, but like. Bumble? No. Um, um, there was another app, I can't even, ba Badu? No. Is that Chinese one? Bad, B-A-D-O-O, -O. no. Is it Badu or something? Okay, I don't know. I don't know Bumble and Tinder. No, it's like Badu. So I, I saw this like, pretty attractive guy in there, so I was like, oh cool, like, yeah. let's meet up. And he like, shows up and it's like, football gear, and he's like, got oh. chicken legs, and he's like, hey, and he's like, he's like Canadian. You know, but he was like, his mouth was just so huge. He was like, hi, hi. He was talking, I was like, oh no. And I already had a few cocktails, so I was yeah, like, my friend. Oh, lines. sorry, I'm like trying to talk to you. Yeah, okay. So I've already had a few cocktails, so I was like, okay, what is happening? Like, you showed up on like a date in like your football gear. Yeah. Okay, whatever, cool. But I'm like looking really cute, so, but I'm also a little tipsy. <laughs> so then he's like, where do you, I'm like, where do you want to go? And I'm just like, he didn't have any idea. Like. You don't have a plan? Mm. We're in Seaweed in Shenzhen. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, okay, let's go to 7 Eleven so I can get a beer. <laughs> I'm like, that's this. So he's like, yeah, I don't want anything, I don't really drink. And I'm like, oh, here we go. <laughs> Mr. Health Nut, the chicken legs. So anyway, <laughs> oh my gosh. I was like, I was like, I need to go to the bathroom. And I left him at 7 Eleven, went to the bathroom, blocked and deleted him on every app, WeChat, every app. And then I went to the pub and told my story to like everyone at the pub. And then I, Never heard from that guy again. And then, like, 
three months later, my friends were like, that guy you like went on a date with, it's like, at a club with an old Russian lady. <laughs> like, she was like, he was like asking like, where you, I was like, oh my God. Wow. Like, yeah, oh, yeah, anyway, yeah, I had to go, I had to go soon. Like, I had, I had to, guys. No. <laughs> I, I can tell totally honor snap because I also had, I mean, I had a horrible day too, so. But it wasn't horrible, but um, <laughs> the guy, he spoke French, right? So minimum yeah. English. Um, but what made me totally unattractive to him was the fact that he had missed up teeth. No, I don't, no, no. Do you think no. I was, no, no. no. Like, look at my teeth. Look at my teeth. Yeah, yeah. Nice teeth. We have nice teeth. Teeth no. in his mouth. It looks like no. he hasn't. He, he never brushed his teeth for like. He never had him scaled. No. I don't think I didn't have his teeth scaled ever. He didn't have like, like good here. dental hygiene. Like you can see that he doesn't have yeah. good dental hygiene. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, mm -mm. no. Like I'm, the first thing when I, the first thing I look on on a guy. <sighs> Is their mouth? I really, I have a thing for teeth. Even my my boyfriend, I would say to him, um, I would say to him, oh, I'd always look in his mouth and look at his teeth, and he he's getting a little gap now, and I'm like, oh, you're getting a gap. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> <get> <laughs> yeah. So like, I'm very big on the yeah. hygiene and alignment. I mean, maybe not alignment that much because that's a little yeah. bit yeah, much, yeah. Right? right? Right, right, right. But dental hygiene. Sure, and then he kept on messaging me, like, okay, when are going to our next date? Oh, and I'm like, oh you know what? I'm honestly <laughs> not looking for anything. <laughs> and then that was next like, day or another day. No. Yeah. So, <laughs> so my Tinder for me was just total trash. Yeah. And I think I've only been on four dates, and then that was it. I deleted yeah, my like, account. I feel like I would go meet up with someone, and they'd be cool. Mm -hmm. And then like, I wasn't feeling them. I would just be like, oh, nice, it was nice meeting you, whatever, but yeah. I'm just not feeling But I'm like really honest, Yeah. you know? I, or I'm, 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 not, I'm honest, or like some people you just gotta go. So I'm like, nice meeting you, and that's why I ghosted that dude. Oh, yeah. So I guess people could take that as like, me yeah. being a hypocrite. But like that guy, I just didn't even want, I would But I, I never really dates outside of the black race. <laughs> I mean, or like, Asian or I, I'm trying to think, like, was that on a date with like, I think I went on a date with a guy from Portugal. Uh -huh. Like, I don't know, like four years ago. Oh, okay. In Shenzhen. But yeah, I went on a date with a guy from Portugal, I think, four years ago. So it's not like, just like when I'm on Tinder, I'm like, this guy reminds me of someone that I like, grew up with. This yeah. guy looks like my cousin from Norway. No. This wow, guy from Norway. you're comparing them to your family. Well, it's just like, <laughs> like incest. No, it's like, it's like, it's like some like a plain, like, so vanilla. Oh, it's like someone that's like, I'm like, yeah. this guy's gonna be like a Trumpy mm -hmm. or have like totally political views that I don't like believe in and stuff. Yeah. And that's like, and I feel like the expats here, or whatever you wanna call them. We're gonna like, touch that one for sure. I think yeah, they have like, like a, uh, an Asian fetish. Yes, and, 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 that's, and that's fine, we're in Asia. Yeah. Am I gonna go to Ghana and find a, and try to date a white guy? Mm -hmm. No, I'm gonna go to Ghana and date the Ghanaian man. Like, mm -hmm. I get it. Yeah. Like, it's not like- Honestly, I don't get it completely. But, but <laughs> I, don't, I, I appreciate it. I'm like, I'm confident in myself enough mm -hmm. where I know I like, if I wanna get a man, I can yeah. get a man. And I have, but I yeah. can, and I have one. Yeah. You know? <laughs> that, let, let, let's Ooh, see. Uh, but you know what I- Not confident. No, but you know what I'm saying though? It's like, you have to have confidence in like, I know, I know a lot of um, people, like, a lot of females live in here, like, especially, like, a lot of, like, white females, mm -hmm. actually, and they get, like, really bent out of shape about, like, oh, that guy over there is Asian girls or whatever. I'm like, yeah, but there's a, so many people here. There are Asian guys. There are men from, like, you know, everywhere, especially if you're in Guangzhou. Mm -hmm. Guangzhou has, you know, a really large pool of diversity. So, oh, like, sure. you know, like, Maybe you end up dating someone that you don't think you'll end up dating. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. So I don't like, know what you mean, but I, I, I don't understand know. Like, what you mean. Like, <laughs> I, I get it. I like, get it. I'm get like, it. just, you gotta like keep, kind of like keep trying and like meet people out, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, or like join, if you're like not a Tinder person or you don't really like go out to the bar and stuff, like there's yeah. tons of groups you can meet people on. Yeah. You know? So it's like. A but thing. I think I'll, some some people just like to date within their race and then that's where the biggest yeah, issue yeah, yeah, comes yeah. because. Honestly, I think dating in China is extremely hard. Yeah, no, yeah. I felt, yeah. and it's not that I'm, I'm not a, I have a low self-esteem. No, anything. you I'm don't. A no. person, yes, right. But in all honesty, yeah. I felt the least attractive living in China. Well, 
that's the thing about and, China. There's... And that can play on your self confidence. Yeah. Yes, for sure. Yeah, yeah. You're it's right. like the stereotypical like when a lot of like um, men in general, but especially Asian men, see like foreigners. It's like they want like a skinny. Blonde, whatever, and yeah. like, okay, it might be like blonde, big blonde, and I'm like, my oh, hair's going great, guys. <laughs> He's gonna be blonde, and then my eyes are light, but I'm, yeah. I'm not a thick, skinny like model. Yeah, you're on the you ideal. Know? I'm not like a model. Like they probably look at me and like, oh my god, she's fat, but like, I feel great. I work out. Mm-hmm. I do. Well. Oh, when you're like on Tinder, you're just like. Oh my god, like wondering like, okay, does that Chinese man do you think he speaks English? Mm. Like we have a conversation because yeah. a lot of my friends have been on dates and like they're like on the translator the whole time. Uh-huh. You know? Yeah. Or they just want to get laid, so they're just like, hey, let's go. And I'm like, oh my god. Like, <laughs> like, want- oh, like overall I think dating in China is really crappy. Yeah, I'm glad I don't have to do it anymore. Like I'm serious. I'm like looking back and I'm like, but for me, like I never like. I I like being alone. Like, Me too. Quite honestly. Me too. Oh, my boyfriend doesn't watch this. Just <laughs> hey Max. <I'm> just <laughs> um, she's not talking. He's actually gonna right watch. She's, she's loving oh, it. She's no, loving the relationship. Like, yeah, it's just like I like being alone and I enjoy my own company. I like that. Yeah, and but also I'm like, okay, if I meet some, I always tell myself if I meet somebody yeah. that can you know get along with my lifestyle and improve myself and we can mm-hmm. like help each other and like love mm-hmm. each other and like you know enhance each other's life then obviously that's going to be good and then yeah. i found that person so it's, it's cool it's cool <laughs> i mean yeah totally it, yeah everyone has their issues but like it's been good it's like as long as i have my space i'm okay because yeah. like you can't go from like a single person in china to like or anywhere actually yeah, yeah. but we're just in china and to like dating someone like you still need your space you know yeah. so you have to just respect each other about that Cause like, if you're not personally, I think if you're not happy by your own self, then there's no way that you'll be no happy way. in a relationship. No because way. you need to like know how to yeah. balance. Personally, I like my space as well. Yeah, right? yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're introverted and I'm extroverted, right? But like, but like sometimes yeah. I'm like weird. Sometimes I like want to stay at home and not do anything. Mm-hmm. You know, but then like I think we all have. I think no one is yeah. um, one thing. I think we have a mixture. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Because I mean, I am a natural introvert, but, but you're super- I'm also outgoing. Yes. So if yeah. I'm actually placed in a particular setting, I know how oh, to. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, of course. You know, adapt. I'm adaptable. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so, most um, yeah most introverts are more adaptable than extroverts actually. So. Uh, like, yeah, yeah, I'm adaptable. Yeah. So if I'm in a, like a social setting, I'm yeah. gonna get along with yeah. everyone. But I prefer to be home. Oh my gosh. But you're like, you're like, should I go on this date? Yeah. You're like, no, I'd rather be on my sofa. Yeah. That's how about sure. like, how about like, I'm like, have you ever like scheduled a date and you don't really want to go on it? And you're just kind of like. Honestly, I've only been on five dates or four yeah. dates in China. Yeah. Yeah. But it's like meeting up with friends or schedule dates and be like, girl, it's not going anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, I'll cancel all this. If the Hong Kong border is open again, yeah. then you should get back. <laughs> no, I have that. Now in a relationship. Okay, okay. That's what I thought. Well, that's what I thought. I wasn't sure. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, good, 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 good. Yeah, so, um, okay. So, I mean, like, before we leave, mm-hmm. we need to talk about something extremely juicy. Or the, the, oh my god, oh, this is gonna be I want to know okay. your worst Tinder experience. Did you watch like Tinder? Oh my Tinder? god, oh yes, I never did. I'm not okay. No, those girls were just like really sweet, but I would never know. Same, same. Dude, like, I feel my like, enemy is okay, maybe for the first, the first, the first, like, the first time. One that, time, one time. That but, was shocking. I would never take a loan out for any man. Sorry, I don't same. care if you like my. I don't care if my like, enemies are coming like, for you. <laughs> I'm not, no, $250,000, no, like, no. no. Like, how do you get to $250,000? I, I could only spend the first 20 because he actually created, you know, yes. like, son. Like, he created right. an illusion that he was a believer. No, I'm not how do you like, get to $250,000? Yeah, no, I would, no, and I've never been swindled or anything like that. I've just had bad experience, like. Okay, we want to know, like, your worst <sighs> Tinder experience. There's some really like, weird things. Okay, so I think one of the worst ones was yeah. I literally went to Hong Kong to meet this guy, mm-hmm. and he's like, "Let's take a ferry mm-hmm. to one of the islands." I think it was Lama Island. Okay. So I'm like, "Cool, let's go to Lama Island." And I was like looking at the ferry times, like make sure I can get back. Yeah. To sleep in my like, you know, tiny room that you get in Hong Kong. <laughs> so I was like, 
okay, we're out there. And then he's like, oh yeah, the last ferry leaves like soon. And then it's like, oh, actually it doesn't leave till like tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. So then I'm stuck on an island with this dude. And he's like, but my friend has a house here conveniently uh -huh. that we can stay at. I'm like, bro, I just met you. Like I'm not going to any like some right? creepy island house to stay with you. Mm. So I was like, mm, no. So then I'm like on the so beach. just wants to hook up. Yeah, and I was like, okay, I need more beer. <laughs> So, and I hadn't eaten dinner yet. And I'm like, can you feed a bitch? Like, <laughs> I'm like, dude, like, at least want to feed me. Like, you know? I mean, right. I've been on dates with many, like, African men, and I was like, did you eat yet? Oh, that's what you want to eat. They're gonna and I'm like, you. that's why I love African men, because they want to feed me. And I'm always hungry and I go, what is true? No, I mean, like, he was like, Black British, mm -hmm. and I think he, I can't remember where his like mom and dad were from, but it was definitely like East Africa, right? Okay. Still, I was like, my friends from there always asking me, are you hungry? Like this guy, and maybe he was too westernized, I don't no, know. No, I'm sorry, I'm like, like, the western guys that oh, I like, date. I wanna eat. I'm sorry, but any guy that takes me out on a date <laughs> is gonna pay, and he's gonna feed me well. And I was like, it's, it's, you know, just like, yes. I have a standard, yes. I have expectations. Yes. How are you gonna want to be on an island and don't even want to No, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna go get some more beer and then I'm gonna like go to 7-Eleven and like, how am I gonna get there? So I stole his bicycle. I have a video of this somewhere on Facebook. And I was like, guys, just ran out through Lama Island, not Lama, no, it wasn't Lama, it was Lanto. So there was like water buffalo all around uh -huh. and, and, and shit. Yeah. And I was like, okay, I go to 7-Eleven and like video of myself, like mm -hmm. going to get some beer <laughs> and like chips. I'm like, oh my God, like chips, Wait. really? You took back any plan? What? You took back any time? No. Oh, good. No, and I got back there, and he like had more beer, and then I was like trying to ditch him. Mm -hmm. And there was like these dudes, I heard like NWA, mm -hmm. and I was like, who the hell is playing NWA on a beach no. in Lanto Island? I don't know who NWA is. Well, I mean, I'm not gonna say the name of the... Fuck the police. Oh! <laughs> I'm like trying to like Whoa. keep them in like, like, like this guy. No, I tried. He like I tried. It was falling. And I was like, you should just go to sleep. You know, I'm just gonna hang out on the beach all night, I guess, mm -hmm. with random people. Right. You know, and mm -hmm. drink until the little fairy goes or whatever. So I'm like, oh my god, so I'm like won't leave. So I'm just like getting drunk, beer after beer, and I'm just like, is it 5 a.m. yet? Can I get on the ferry? Like, so he like he stranded me on Lanto Island and did no food. He's stingy. And he's cheap. So he paid for the ferry to go over? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> All right, guys. So pretty much the end of this video. Mara, do you think I should have another episode in this series? Maybe get a next someone else. Yeah, maybe. And next why woman's perspective? Because you're not typical. <laughs> I think you need like an angrier white female. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Okay guys, please remember to like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment below. Tell us if you've been in Asia, what's your worst dating experience, or is it very difficult dating where you are? Okay.